a lot of people actually been asking me, like even friends of mine, friends that want to get bikes and stuff like that, they've been asking me how many miles is too many miles, you know, when, whenever they need to buy a motorcycle. And, you know, it always depends what, what, what like whatever your budget is. If your budget is only $3,000, you can't really expect to get a motorcycle with like 10,000 miles or less, you know what I mean? If you only have $3,000, then you are going for a motorcycle that's more than 10 years old. Yeah, three to four thousand dollars. Then you just gotta go with something that that doesn't need any fixing right off the bat. And I would say under 25,000 miles is okay. You really have to be careful when buying a used motorcycle for that price range. Not so much a 250, 250s don't really have problems other than like basic stuff like you need to change the battery or you know, little, little things like that. But when you really have to take a look into it is when they're, whenever you're buying like the 600s, 600s and 1000s. I literally have bought a motorcycle. I, my, the CBR that I had, I paid $2,100 for that bike and it didn't need any work. It had maybe 20,000 miles on it when I got it. I did an oil change. It didn't need much work for me. And it was pretty reliable. I had no problems. I loved the way it, ro it rode and stuff. But the bike caught on fire on me. And what was that? That was so much work done to it. That wasn't proper work. You know what I mean? People cutting corners. People, like, you know, that type of stuff. People doing shit like that. So it had to have had. I have a feeling that it was an electrical problem. Because it did have a lot of, like, work done to it. But it rode fine. It was just that one day, this, I, I was riding. I see smoke coming up. I looked down, and the freaking bike was on fire. So, but this isn't my case. Was really rare. You don't ever hear of motorcycles catching on fire, especially while you're on them. So that was an extremely special case. That's why I, you know, if I felt like it was because of the mileage or something like that, I would never be recommending a bike like that to anybody. The only reason I still recommend people to get cheap motorcycles like that like with a three to four thousand dollar budget is because like good bikes to learn on one thing i wouldn't recommend is trying to keep a motorcycle like that uh, like a three thousand dollar bike for so many years you know what i mean that's more of a bike you learn on and then you sell it and hopefully buy something better number of friends that have motorcycles for for three four thousand dollars and it, they have never given them problems so that's why i primarily still recommend motorcycles like that just i personally say it's just to learn on and then in the future you know you get yourself a nice bike low mileage taken care of for for a good price you know like me i basically did that so yeah guys basically at 25,000 miles, that's just under 25,000 is all right. I would say I have a lot of friends that have bought motorcycles with 30,000 miles, 40,000 miles. I think I have one that bought an R1 as his first bike, and it has like 50,000 miles or something crazy like that. So bikes are really reliable. Just make sure if you don't know anything about bikes, go and buy a bike with a friend that knows preferably or do your research really good. So yeah, I feel like the miles thing really applies to the budget people, you know, three to four thousand dollars. Because once you're past that, uh, you know, four, four and a half, you could get something nice, you know, under ten thousand miles. 